Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how using IBM WebSphere Application Server Network Deployment Docker Containers Intelligent Management On-Demand Router Configuration can be done and using which Application Edition Management can be performed. In this demo, we are going to make use of the IBM WebSphere Application Server Network Deployment Docker image which we created as part of the IBM WebSphere Application Server Network Deployment and Docker demo. Give Docker Images ND command to review the image information. Let us start a container to run the Deployment Manager. The name of the container is DMGR. Minus D, through minus D we have specified the container is going to run in a detached or background mode. Through minus B, we have specified the various port associations between the host machine and the container. Minus H, host1. Host1 is the host name of the container. And NT is the image name. And the slash bin slash bash is the command. The container has been successfully started. You could see the identifier of the container. Let us inspect the IP of the deployment manager container. The IP is 172.17.0.15. Using the IP address, let us create a deployment manager profile. The deployment manager profile has been successfully created. Now let us start the deployment manager. Starting of deployment manager is in progress. The deployment manager has been successfully started. Now let us start a container for the on-demand router node. So in the name what we are going to have is the ODR node and then D for detached and then we are going to specify the host name host2 and then along with that we are adding an another parameter add host in the, using this parameter adds the host name and the IP address association in the slash etc slash host file in the container. The ODR node container has been successfully created. Let us inspect the IP address of the ODR node. It is 172.17.0.16. Now let us create the custom node profile for the ODR node. ODR node profile has been successfully created. Now let us create a container for running the node 01. The container has been successfully created. Let us inspect the IP address of the node 01. It is 172.17.0.17. Let us create the custom node profile for the node 01. Custom node profile node 01 has been successfully created. Let us start a container for running node 02 and the container for running node 02 has been successfully started. Let us inspect the IP address of node 02 container. And the IP address is 172.17.0.18. Let us create the custom node profile for node 02. Custom node profile node 02 has been successfully created. Let us connect to the admin console and review the configuration. System administration nodes. We have four nodes. The manager node, node 01, node 02 and the ODR node. Now let us create the on-demand router. Server on demand router, click new, click OK, select the node name ODR node, provide the server name as ODR, click next, uncheck SIP, then click next, then click next, then click finish, click save to save the changes. The on demand router ODR has been successfully created. Let us stop the deployment manager. The stopping of the deployment manager is in progress. The deployment manager has been successfully stopped. Let us start the deployment manager. Starting of deployment manager is in progress. The deployment manager has been successfully started. 
Let us log into admin console and start the on demand router. Select the checkbox against the ODR then click start. The starting of the on demand router is in progress. The on demand router has been successfully started. Let us create a node group. System administration node groups. Click new. Provide the node group name custom node group. Click OK. Click save to save the changes. Click the custom node group. Node group members. Click add. Add node 01 and node 02 as members. Click add. Click save to save the changes. So now we have a custom node group with two nodes. Node 01 and node 02. Let us create a dynamic cluster. Click new. Click next. Provide the dynamic cluster name. Custom DC. Click next. Change the node group name to custom node group. Preview membership. Check who are all the members of this particular node group. Node 01 and Node 02 are the members of this particular node group. Click Next. Click Next. Limit the number of instances that can start to 2 and then allow more than one instance to start and set it as 1 because we are going to use Docker container so we don't want more than one instances to be running in a container. Click Finish to complete the dynamic cluster creation. Click save to save the changes. The dynamic cluster custom DC has been successfully created. Let us install the application. Click WebSphere Enterprise Applications. Click install. Click browse. Select version app underscore v10.ar. Click next. The application is getting uploaded. Click next. Provide the application edition as 1.0 and the edition description as edition 1.0. Then click next. Click next. Click next. Click finish. Click save to save the changes. The application version app edition 1.0 has been successfully installed. Click install again. Click browse. This time select the version 11AR. Click next. Click next. Provide the application edition as 1.1. And the edition description as edition 1.1. Click next. Click next. Click next. Click next. Click finish to install the application. Click save to save the changes. Application version app edition 1.1 has been successfully installed. Click the edition control center. You can see the version app. There are two editions and one is active. Click the version app. And here you will see version 1.0 is active and version 1.1 is inactive. Let us change the mode of the dynamic cluster. Change the mode to automatic. Click the checkbox and then click set mode. The mode operational mode of the dynamic cluster has been changed to automatic. So since the mode has been changed to automatic and as per our cluster configuration at least one server has to be running. Let's go and check that under the task management runtime task. In the runtime task you could see a task with task id given by the application placement controller and you could see the status in progress. 
the task id now has the status succeeded let us check the status of the application server application server is running on node 02 let us see whether the application has been successfully started or not so the application has been successfully started application version 1.0 so let us launch the application and check the application has been successfully launched click edition control center click version app click the check box again version 1.1 click the validate button so the validation process has started a new cluster custom dc hyphen validation has been created and the edition 1.1 has been the state of the edition is changed to active click manage editions so now you could see version 1.0 is in active state and version 1.1 is in validate state click server click dynamic cluster see now we have another dynamic cluster custom dc hyphen validation now let us go and see the servers now we could see two more servers under the custom dc validation node let us check the applications both the application edition 1.0 and 1.1 are running click the version app edition 1.1 let's add some routing policies click routing policies expand work classes for http request click new enter the work class name wc underscore validate edition 1.1 then click next select a module add the available http patterns click next click finish to complete the work class creation click okay click save to save the changes click version app edition 1.1 click routing policies expand the wc underscore validate edition 1.1 click add rule click build sub expression this change the select operand to request query parameter name so provide the request query parameter name as version value equal to 1.1 click build sub expression copy the sub expression paste the query expression then change it to permit routing to version app edition 1.1 click validate rule validation is successful now click okay click save to save the changes so let us launch and check the application so first let us launch the version app edition 1.0 so the application has been launched successfully now let us launch the version 1.1 add question mark version equal to 1.1 the application version 1.1 is also launched successfully let's go to the admin console click edition control center click version app click the check box against 1.1 click roll out review the roll out strategy click okay 
so the rollout has been started the rollout is successful click manage editions so here you could see version 1.0 as inactive and version 1.1 as active let us launch the application so let's remove the check version equal to 1.1 Let's launch the application. The application edition 1.1 is successfully launched. Let us roll out the edition 1.0 again. So click the checkbox. Click roll out. So review the rollout strategy. The rollout has been started successfully. Rolling out of edition 1.0 is successful. Click manage editions. So now we could see version 1.0 is active and version 1.1 is inactive. Let us launch the application and check. Application version 1.0 is successfully launched. As part of this demo, we have used IBM WebSphere application, server, network deployment, Docker containers and configured intelligent management on-demand router configuration and then we have made use of the application edition management feature of intelligent management application edition management feature helped us in deploying two edition of the same application and then validate the new version and then roll out the new version thanks for watching the demo